My name is Rob Gourlay. I'm the head of our circulation department here at Fairhope Public Library. Today I'm going to review the new novel Utopia Avenue by David Mitchell. Utopia Avenue was just released this month on July 14th, so it is still very front of brain right now, very fresh for me. I will say right now at the top of this video that I am a big fan of this novel and all of David Mitchell's other work. He is most known for 2004's epic novel Cloud Atlas and 2014's The Bone Clocks. He has continued to release other novels to critical and popular acclaim. A one sentence description of this book for me would be Utopia Avenue is a supernatural slash psychedelic historical fiction. This book is set in 1967 and 1968 in London, England. Later, the action moves to the United States. It is about a fictional band that forms by accident or fate, hits a few early bumps, gains success, skyrockets to international rock and roll fame, and then, well, I won't spoil any of the ending and tension of the book. The book is narrated by four band members. The chapters rotate between each of their perspectives. Dean, Jasper, Griff, and Elf, she is the band's lone female member. I love when books can do this multiple narrator trick well. Each chapter certainly has a unique feel, giving you the illusion that you are listening to four distinct voices. Each band member has different drama intention happening apart from the main plot of the rise of the band. Central to each of their stories is their relationships with their families. Complex family dramas are some of my favorite stories in literature, TV, and movies. It is very evident that David Mitchell has a great affection for music and specifically for this period of rock and roll, folk, and blues music during the 1960s. And it's not just the music scene he describes, the backdrop of the hippie counterculture, Vietnam War and its protests, political assassinations, free love, and the popularity of drug usage, the Hollywood of the 1960s, and more all give the novel a rounded out, vivid painting of what that time could have been like, at least according to David Mitchell. The scenes he writes are full of famous names popping in and out of our four protagonists' lives. Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, The Stones, Pink Floyd, Jerry Garcia and the Grateful Dead, Joni Mitchell. Those are just a fraction of the famous personas that make brief cameos. It plays like a musical Forrest Gump sometimes. I personally found it endearing rather than corny. As Mitchell continues to write new novels, his readers will notice that his novels are increasingly interconnected. He cross-references events and characters in surprising and clever ways. Any of his novels can certainly be read independently of one another, but they also build upon one another developing the author's larger vision and mythology to make a sort of Mitchell verse. I haven't even hinted at it yet in this review, but there is also a certain psychological and supernatural element to this novel. Like I said, each of Mitchell's books is building upon the others. Most of his books have a mystical science fiction fantasy element to them. This can be jarring if you were expecting a straight historical fiction novel. I don't want to explain all of the mechanics of this world directly. I'll let the reader discover them for themselves. One of the four main characters, Jasper, is actually a descendant, a great, great, great grandson, many times over, of one of the main characters of Mitchell's earlier books, The Thousand Autumns of Jacob de Zoot. In Utopia Avenue, Jasper is hearing voices in his head. 
um, has been pre previously committed to an institution and continues to balance his musical genius with his sanity. The reader is left to decide whether he's truly insane or there's something else at play. Throughout the novel and the other novels, Mitchell clearly has a fascination with mortality, the function of time in our world, and how we interact with the past. It can be a daunting task to be asked to read four or five other books before reading this one, so I will also reiterate that each of his books are extremely readable independently. His turns of phrase, beautiful prose, makes each novel a highly enjoyable experience. Utopia Avenue was definitely a big page turner for me. Thank you for listening today. I hope you give David Mitchell and Utopia Avenue a try.